Four minutes now to eight. You're listening to Breakfast with James and Pam. Two army veterans from Cornwall claim a charity has miraculously cured them of post-traumatic stress disorder. Against the opinion of most experts, Martin Webster and Rich Emerson say years of nightmares and mood swings after serving in Iraq have gone thanks to Talking to Minds. It's a charity which encourages veterans to take control of their lives. In August, it's setting up a camp in Cornwall for the very first time. BBC Radio Cornwall's Dennis Nightingale has visited the planned campsite between Helston and Penryn. Swallows fly low in squadrons, hunting insects over this field at Penwarn Farm near Morland Smith. It's all quiet here, and this is where the veterans will gather. A far cry from a battlefield. Uh, a fenced off area for all the veterans that are on the Talking to Minds change program. Yeah. Uh, we've got six, uh, five veterans for Cornwall. Okay. So some of them might be, I think you're going to stay, Jamie, aren't you? Yeah. Martin Webster and Rich Emerson are working out what's going to be happening here at the camp. Martin, what's the idea of bringing the veterans here? Bob Paxman, who's the, the chairman of the charity, has set up Talking to Minds. He came down here about a few months ago and he said, wouldn't this be a fantastic place? Get them here, get them connecting with nature. Once we've got them all together, they'll be able to sort of use the healing nature of the, the whole area, being away from the cities, away from traffic and distractions, to just sort of basically bring themselves up together, really. To Rich, I've spoken to you before. We've spoken to you on BBC Radio Cornwall before. You, you've talked about the problems you've had since the first Gulf War when you were in tanks, that you've really suffered over the years, that you've been homeless and everything. You say this is almost a miracle, what Talking to Minds does, because it's put you on the right path along last. Yeah, I feel something really, really special. Everything's passed. There's no nightmares, no flashbacks. I'm not waking up with cold sweats, um, you know, punching out at the, at the air, and depression, homelessness, the whole thing. That's all gone. But how does it work? Because it's about you taking control, is it, and saying, well, actually, I don't have to be ill all my life? The whole emphasis on is that the veteran wants to change. Because if you don't allow yourself to change, then you basically fix yourself. All that Talking to Minds does is provide the tools, the imaginary tools, coping strategies, and helping you to relax, using deep relaxation to get you to the point in your life where you can work out the answers for yourself. Our subconscious understands certain words that we put into sentences to bring out the subconscious um, in like a really relaxed state. Positive stuff, all, all positive stuff, so no negative stuff, that's all eradicated. So it's always moving forward, a step forward all the time. Well, one person who does want to change, who's been through a lot of problems since he served out in Iraq, is uh, Jamie Watson. Jamie, you were in the Royal Artillery. What sort of problems have you had since you came out of the, out of the Army? I've had problems with all sorts of issues, um, violence, um, anger, confusion, depression. They're all things that that followed me on my depart from the... From You've the been a violent forces. man then? You've had fights since you left? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, si situations, yeah, violent situations that I have found myself in on, and uh, have, been, have led to massive complications in my life. And um, how do you relate that back to what happened in Iraq? What, why do you think there's a connection? Um, as a young man, I, I took myself away to the army um, and I was trained in killing people and war we were trained in war as young men unfortunately when we left we weren't detrained and those training skills that are, that are put into you as a young man follow you when you leave and uh, unfortunately they don't work out in, in society they work on the battlefield but out in community they they lead to trouble in your life do you, do you think you can be cured because some people say it's with you for the rest of your life um yeah i've been told that but i don't believe that i'm gonna have this illness for the rest of my life i want to change and and, and get rid of it do you think a camp here at Penwarn for 48 hours, people talking about it, giving you the tools we've heard about, do you think that can really help you? I do, yeah. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to my change programme in August. Um, I think this is a perfect site for it. Um, as Martin said, it's, it's a place of nature. It's a place where you're going to be able, if anywhere, to get in touch with that side of yourself and hopefully start to subside some of those, those feelings of, of, that are causing the problems in, in my life. I'm absolutely convinced it's not short term, that it's for the rest of your life. Yeah, because I think what the great thing what Talking to Minds is doing is it's giving people life skills that they can then coach other people. So it's, we're spreading the knowledge. And if people are finding they're having relapses, then they come back for treatment and, they, you know, and we help them out again. 
Martin Webster telling his story to BBC Radio Cornwall's Dennis Nightingale. And we've uh, details of that organisation talking to minds to pass on to you. Just give us a call at BBC Radio Cornwall and we'll put you in touch. 01872 222222. 19 minutes now to 8. Now, yesterday, you may remember on the programme, we heard about a flotilla of French boats heading for Cornwall in...